Hi everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse. And I just want to do a flip through of this journal that I've been working on. Um, I don't usually finish journals in such rapid succession, but I have about 20 that I am in various stages of working on from like a year or two ago that I'm trying to get through. So I may be able to get these out a little bit faster. Anyway, I love this one. I am so excited about this. This is actually a prayer journal and um, you'll see the various aspects of that as I go through. Um, it's not just a journal for keeping track of your prayer requests and answers though. This is a journal that is almost like an instructional book in a way. Um, it's, it's sort of like guided prayer, but there's also lots of room for your prayer requests and stuff, but there are lots of different kinds of prayer that I've put cards and little pamphlets um, as examples of or explanations of in the different pockets. And if you don't like any of those, you can get rid of them. That's not a problem. Um, I made sure that that any of those are loose so that you can decide if you want to keep it in your journal, if you want to put it in your Bible, if you don't like that kind of prayer, you can just get rid of it, um, whatever. So anyway, there's just a real variety of prayers in here and I'm really excited about this. Um, I, I might make more, I'm not sure. They won't be exactly like this, obviously. Um, everyone is different. But anyway, so let's look at the cover. Um, this is all coordinated papers and lace. There is tons of lace, look at this. Tons and tons of lace. Lots of pages that have lace on them. Um, it's bound with leather and it has beads, wooden, I think these are wooden, they might be resin, but they look wooden. Um, down here dangling and then I also have uh, different uh, charms dangling from the sides. This one here is an angel and then there is a an anchor and there's that little thing. Um, there are a bunch of them and, and as I've been working on this I guess they've moved inside. There's some grapes, there is a horse, there's a heart and there is a scallop shell. Okay, now I normally say move these around or if you don't like some, let me know and I'll replace them. But these all actually, actually fit with the page. And I wrote like a verse or a hymn on the page that goes with these. So you'll get a little bit of explanation as we go through. Okay, on the front cover, there's a little pocket and I've got these little cards that are, you can write some things on them if you want to. Um, or you can take these out and put something else in there. Anyway, there's three of them. This one has Sari Silk from my shop in it, on it. And then these are all from the, this is a collection from All Fibered Up. It's called Verdigree. And I did a review of, I bought like, I don't know, five or six packages of these different fibers and they're just beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so um, there's a little flower on here too. So this, there's a pocket at the very beginning that says, know that you are valuable, unique, and loved by God more than you can imagine. And then there's a little pocket here that has a thing for prayer requests. And there's three of these throughout the books. There's plenty of, of page of these if you wanna write your prayer requests on these. Um, it's the dates, so you can mark beginning and ending. This one says, with God, all things are possible. I'm not gonna have time to read all this, but here's the papers that you can write on, and you can write inside here and on here and stuff. You know, with junk journals, you just write all over. So that's there, that's the first one. Okay, and then you can write on all these pages. I have these little fabric or ribbon and thread all throughout. This is, I know it looks like thread, but it's yarn. Um, this is some of my late husband's yarn. He was a knitter. And you know, when you knit, you put, you know, like six to 10 of those strands together and it makes thicker yarn. Um, so, and there's one of his buttons here too. And then you have three little pockets here with different cards and things. This one here you can open up and write in. And here's a little one of these that you can write on the back of. And you can move these all around and stuff if you want to. You don't have to keep them where I have them. Um, there are a couple of cards in here. That's Joseph, the father of Jesus, and showing Jesus slaying the serpent. And there's a prayer on the back of that. So kind of cool. And then there's this Rita Donnelly flip here. Um, I have, what is this? This is about trusting Jesus. 
this is you were inscribed on the palm of his hand and then this is about this is a prayer of forgiving people who have hurt us and another Rita Donnelly flip here okay and then this um, I ask God to take all your worries and fears today so that you can rest in his amazing presence there's a verse here and another thought about that um, I have a little leaf and a uh, card that you can write on and this you can fit lots more in here you know and and with these all these tags and cards and stuff not just the prayer cards but you can take all these out rearrange them uh, don't put them back in if you want to put your own stuff in whatever you just you know it's your journal so you do whatever you want to do okay so here's the first of these charms this is a scallop shell and the scallop shell is a symbol of st. James of James um, and it says here a verse from James confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective and then I mentioned about the scallop shell being the symbol of James and so that's one kind of prayer is prayers of confession and actually I have a I have a, a brochure about about confession that should have gone in here instead of this one on the Holy Spirit anyway <laughs> You can move that around if you want and put it someplace else. I have a card with a Thanksgiving prayer here. And then also, I'm hoping to show you the various pockets that you might not notice otherwise. This right here is a pocket. It actually is like a belly band. It goes all the way through. Let me see here. So you can see. See, it goes all the way through. So you can stick something in there. These are just three postage stamps that are on part of an envelope that I just tore that part of the envelope off. But it looks really cool, doesn't it? Okay, and then this is a prayer... Um, for miscarriages and this pocket what I used for this pocket was something that was sent to me by Misty Salomon um, really nice uh, she sent me a package of just all kinds of little things that she had done which was just so sweet okay and then some of these little fabric things that I have like this one I think looks kind of like a garden this looks like the little picket fence and then you've got the grass and stems and stuff and here's the flower but some of them are little pockets or kind of like miniature belly bands um, that I've tucked some things in or there may even be some that don't have something tucked in them so you can look for those okay and then you can write on this um, if you have a dark pen like what I have I'll, I'll um, link this at the in the description box or you can tape things on here or glue them or paper clip them or staple or you know whatever you want to do um, okay so here I've got grapes and so here I've got the verse about the fruit of the spirit we've got a card that you can write inside of but it's also a pocket okay so you can stick something in there um, here's some of the fibers from all fibered up that I really like okay so these are both paper bags see that opens up it's a it's a lunch bag basically and here so you can use this part here as something to tuck something into but it's also a pocket and there's a prayer card in here okay and again the same thing there's a pocket here you can use this for a tuck and you've got another prayer card in here okay I'm not going to show you all the prayer cards because I want you to be able to discover them this one looks like a pocket but it's actually more like a belly band you can stick something right through it um, this is so cool this is about consoling the heart of Jesus and I just love this picture of this little child just wanting to kiss Jesus and comfort him and then I have um, this thing that says I ask God to remind you that he's in control by the way these pages like this are from Mary and Martha and I'll link them on the bottom I love them you can they're tear outs and you can tear them out and like I like to leave them on people's car seats if I drive someplace with them um, here's one of them there's a whole bunch of different ones you see and then you just open them up and you can pull these things out really easily they don't you don't, you don't have to worry about them tearing and stuff um, okay and then this one I think is a pocket yes it's a pocket so you can stick something in there and this one has a little fish in it so you can do that it's a little bit bigger so you can stick more in it if you want to but some of these little ones like if you wanted to take these tags out that I have in my thought was that you could put like little prayer requests and stuff or a verse that you're praying about and then journal about it here or something there's lots of room for you to journal about things and 
you know, write about how you feel about praying in these different ways that are presented in here. So this is a belly band. It can hold a lot more than this. And then you've also got this pocket that you can put some things into also. Okay, this is some of Bill's thread and one of his buttons. Here's your next little prayer request booklet. So this says, pluck and plant. Die where I may, I want it said of me by those who knew me best that I always plucked a thistle and planted a flower where I thought it would grow. That's Abraham Lincoln. Your prayer request and a little notepad for you to write them on. Okay. So we can put them back in this belly band. You can put other things in the belly band too. Here's another little tiny belly, be belly band that you can put stuff into. Um, okay, and then we have this heart charm. And I wrote down um, a prayer that I saw someplace. I can't remember where I saw it. Dear loving Father, may I love others as you have loved me with compassion and care. That's really a good verse to say like when you're having a hard time loving somebody. Um, here's some more of the fiber from all fibered up right here. Okay, I like to have that hanging out someplace, either here or on the side. And then this little cat here, you can open up and you can write in there. And then there's also a little card here. You, the Lord, are kind and merciful. Your love can always be trusted. So that's something to, you know, pray about a verse. Just say that to God and, and praise him for how he can be trusted. Um, there are a couple of different cards here. This one here is a prayer for abortion, for the end of abortion, for bringing an end to abortion. Um, here this talks about Joseph. Uh, it's something about Joseph with Jesus. I can't remember what. I'll let you see that yourself. There's another one of these leaves here. And then we've got, this is the center, and this is where we've got um, the the binding that I used comes down into these little dangly things, and I've got some lace tight in it. And there are a couple of prayers here. One is about contemplating Jesus' wounds. Okay, that this is a tuck. You can put lots of stuff in there. Here's a tuck that you can decide whatever you want to have in there. It's, it's actually, it's a belly band. It goes all the way through. And here's another tuck. That's Joseph with Jesus, and there's just a prayer about that. And um, the Archangel Michael, and then, oh, this is like the act of contrition um, for praying like in a um, confession, but you can pray this to God yourself too. And in, an examination of conscience. This is something that I never thought of doing <laughs> before, but going through the Ten Commandments and asking God to show me like, you know, how have I sinned against you and stuff. And then confessing that. This is one of Bill's buttons, and it's a paper clip on the back here. So there's a prayer about giving Jesus the care of our loved ones and how much he cares for them and everything. It's really it's a neat prayer. Um, but you know, you can write about how you feel about that or your own loved ones that you're concerned about and, and turn those over to God and stuff. This is kind of like, you know, it can be a journal of prayers. It can be a journal of your own feelings about prayer and a legacy that you can pass on to your children and grandchildren that I think would just be really, really neat. This would be a great Mother's Day gift, by the way. Okay, so these are about like praying for pastors and priests and bishops and stuff. Okay, and then we have an anchor here. And so I wrote this um, hymn here, we have an anchor that keeps the, stole, the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. I love that. And then here I just have a, a verse that just kept coming to me when I was working on this. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. I think that verse is so important for right now where we are in history. And um, you can pray stuff about that. Like, you know, Lord, I am fearful. Can you please help me to not be afraid? Can you help me not to be discouraged? Can you help me to be brave and bold and really just follow you and stuff? Um, we, you can have a really powerful prayer with that. 
Um, I prayed for God to give you the strength, courage, and wisdom needed to do the work that he's called you to do today. Okay, so here's a prayer campaign for the restoration of women's and children's rights destroyed by Roe versus Wade. And then here's one, how to make a good confession. Okay, so, um, and then here's our third prayer request, and this is some sorry silk. And this says, do good from Galatians 6.10. I got that from a little magazine that um, came in the mail from one of the local churches. I thought that was cool. Come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Okay, so one of the things I was thinking was, you could, you know, fill up that first prayer request thing first, and then the second one, and then this one. Or you could have each one be different kinds of prayers. Like these could be people who are discouraged and tired and exhausted because so many people are right now and who you want to pray for about that kind of thing. There's a, a, a llama because, you know, he's a beast of burden. So you are weary and heavy burdened. Okay, but he seems pretty happy. And then, you know, like you could write about those people on here and what you're praying for them. Maybe you even write a couple of prayers that you want to pray for these people all the time. Some people need to have prayers written out, you guys, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, when I, I used to kind of not like prayers that were written out. I used to kind of think that was actually kind of wrong. And then when Bill died, I found it very hard. You know, I had things on my heart that I wanted to pray to God, and I really did press into him. And I feel like you know, my, my relationship with God really grew. But I was having a hard time actually putting my prayers into words. And so finding some of these prayers has really, really helped me. And then, of course, now I pray, you know, all the time without those kinds of things. But those prayers still really help me and they really comfort me. This is Teresa of, or Therese, I think, of Lisieux. And um, she, well, I'll let you read her story yourself, but it has to do with roses. So that's why I have roses all over here. Um, sometimes she's called the little rose. Okay, this one here I have, and and see how this card can kind of lock that closed. So you got to push this down, and then you can open this and write on it. And it's probably a pocket too. Let's see where. Yes, it's a pocket from the top. Okay, and then this is like a little belly band. Make a wish, and you've got a card here, grace and peace, and there's a verse that goes with that. Okay, so and I just keep it up here to keep that closed. Um, here's another one of these little texts that you have from fabric and stuff and so that little one can go in there and and all these stenciled things those are all stenciled hand stenciled sometimes with like two or three colors of ink this is called a fabric flip and it just gives you like a little bit of a private place to write something and of course then you know when your kids and grandkids get a hold of it after you die that's where they're going to want to see because that looks so secretive. So write something really special there. Um, oh, one thing I always do in my journals, in my junk journals, is I put some money into one of the pockets. And that way, when my, um, not my ancestors, when my descendants find it and they look in there and they find you know, like a $1 bill from 2020 and, you know, maybe then it's 2075 or something. That's really cool to find, you know, so just a neat thing to do. And it doesn't cost you anything to put a dollar bill in. Okay, so here's about trusting in God's promises and he's always holding your hand and this is kind of like those fabric flips you can flip it up but it's paper okay and you can write on the back of this too and then here's another card here whose love goes on forever Psalm 136 1 so you might want to write about how God's shown his love for you there all right or maybe how you're having a hard time understanding that okay here's another pocket with a prayer card in it and here's another fabric flip. Now this one's lace, so you can see that there's writing under there, but you still can't read what it is until you flip that up. This is just a little tuck, and I've got a flower in there. Um, you could make a slip of paper to put through there with it or take this out, and of course write all over here. I would write like on the lines diagonally on this one, totally. Um, okay, so this, there's some seeds here, and there's this tuck, his love goes on forever. Oh, didn't we just have that one? I guess God really wants you to know that his love goes on forever. Because <laughs> I thought I was getting all different cards. So anyway, um, so that's, that's, I guess that's an important verse for whoever gets this. Um, so here are some seeds, you know, because we're always planting seeds of prayer. We're planting seeds of the gospel and such like that. So that's a pocket behind it, and you can put whatever you want here. This is honeycomb um, 
Did I write? No, I didn't. Okay, if I remember, I'm going to write a verse up here about how God's word is sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. But if I don't write that, you can write it yourself. There's a card here, a note card that you can open up, and you can, where did I get this from? There we go. It's a pocket right here. Okay, but I'm going to move that for a second so I can read this verse that goes with the horse charm. Okay, so the horse, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And so what I would really suggest journaling about here, you can journal about anything you want, obviously it's your journal, but just an idea, is what are the things that you're trusting in that you shouldn't be trusting in? You should be putting your faith in God. What are those things? Maybe list those and confess them to God. That would be a really good thing to pray about because that's, you know, we need to get our eyes off of those things and our trust off of those things, off of our government, off of our family members. You know, we need to trust God. And um, then here I've got my Whittle Ruckle House stamp. And then this is also a big pocket right here. So you can put lots of big things in here, okay? This was a postcard from a group that I used to get, I had a subscription to, it's called Cause Box. And so this was one of the postcards from them. I really liked it, but I'm ready to give it to somebody else and let them enjoy it. So, and then there's the back. And you can write all over the cover and stuff too. Um, so anyway, so there's that. I'm gonna have this posted on Etsy. If you tell me before I have it posted on Etsy that you want it, I will give you a $5 discount for saving me the trouble. I will still, you know, like make a little small post on it just for you on Etsy because that's how you'll buy it from me. But I won't have to go into all the detail of it because you've saved me the time by deciding you want it before I get it posted. So anyway, it's full price if I get it posted before you decide you want it. So anyway, I love you all. And um, like I said, I'm so excited about this. I think this is my favorite junk journal that I've done. I am really, really pleased with this. I love it and I love the way that it can really help somebody grow. So I hope that you, if you get this, don't just use it as a journal. Use it as something to really grow your prayer life and to get closer to the Lord. Anyway, I love you all. Let's be praying for each other, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.